It's been established that in lots of dementia diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, patients have irregular patterns of sugars attached to their proteins. And these irregular patterns of sugars attached to their proteins can be used as indicators whether people are going to have a progression of disease. So I was born and raised in Norfolk. I went to the University of East Anglia for my first degree in biological sciences. I guess this is kind of where I started to get interested in my subject area. Proteins and cells, they're regulated through lots of different processes. So you can have different chemicals added to proteins and that changes how they function. These are called modifications and these modifications think of it like a switch where they turn the protein on or turn it off. I was at the point in my career where I wanted to lead my own research and start my own research group up and I noticed that the University of Southampton had an exceptionally good expertise in structural biology so I decided that this would be a good place to set up my own research group and start my research journey. We want to understand how these sugars at which are attached to these proteins cause dementia to occur. For instance, one of the things we're currently looking at is something called brain calcification, and this is where you have calcium phosphate forming within the brain, and it's relating to sugar processing. However, we don't know the link between how sugars are processed and how brain calcification occurs. So we're trying to combine those two areas together to firstly understand the disease, but secondly, by understanding the disease, we hope to provide new innovative medications or treatments that can kind of help patients who are currently suffering with dementia.